So I recently did a project with this speaker where I basically replaced the Sony legacy plug with a USB and an aux cord, but after a while it kind of broke. When I was doing the project, I couldn't find any descriptions on how the insides of this looked, because nobody apparently disassembles them, so I figured I'd just do it right here. This front comes off by prying. It's just attached with glue and the back side is attached with some screws on the inside that you reach after removing the front plate. I do not know where that went. Since it's already broken, I don't really care. You should probably do this more carefully, but you know. So I kind of vandalized it on the outside. Uh, I think what you want to do is you want to take your knife and you want to slice the adhesive off on the inside here. That'll make the front bezel pop right off. Pop right off, as I said. Yeah, there we go. So you see, it was just held in place by this glue. Next, you gotta bring out your handy screwdriver. Gotta just take out these eight screws. You got eight screws, you got four right here holding the speaker in place to the case, and you got four right here holding the back onto the case. And once you got all the screws loose, you just gotta assuming you got all the screws, it just kinda pops off. For demonstration purposes, cut this off. Here's your speaker. Here's the controller board. And of course in the secondary speaker there's no controller board, it's just a pass-through from this one. So then you have the actual speaker unit and you can disassemble this and get a magnet. And honestly, the easiest way I found to do this is just to, first of all, pry the membrane off. Here is the magnet. And if you want to get the magnet, apply a generous amount of force. If I can grab it correctly, it's just going to crumble away. And out comes the magnet. And since it's a speaker, it's a pretty powerful magnet. And you can see it has this protective shell around it. So I got this from the secondary speaker. I don't know how to show that these are really strong, but they are. And I probably don't want to get my fingers in between these two. Okay, I cannot get this apart again. So yeah. Jesus. That is how you disassemble it.